Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. In my previous video, we saw how to install SQL Server 2016 RTM and we installed just the database and we saw that the SQL Server Management Studio was not part of that setup and it has to be installed separately. So we'll see today how to install SQL Server Management Studio. So if you see the SQL Server installation center and we just click on the new SQL Server standalone installation link, it installed SQL Server. There is a link just below to it, install SQL Server Management Tools. So let's just click on this link. So it takes us to the download page from where we can download the SQL Server Management Studio that is for July 2016, right? So if you just click on this, it will download the setup for you. So I have already downloaded it. So I will close this and I will go to the, I'll even close this and I will go to the location where I have this setup. So this is it, uh, SSMS setup enu.exe that is 790 MB and let me just execute it. Okay, so this is the wizard that will install SQL Server Management Studio for you from where you can fire your queries because uh, before installing this, if you go to the applications, you will not be able to see your SQL Server SSMS where you can, you know, write queries and fire the queries, right? So I'll just click on install. So it takes a bit time and it will install. Okay, so the setup got completed. I can just close this window and this window as well. And let me go to the apps and SQL Server 2016 folder. And you can see here there are many items added. And one of them is SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, I can just click on this. And this is my SQL Server 2016 splash screen and so to connect the database engine that we installed in our previous video you can click on connect and select database engine and here is the default database engine that you can connect to just click on connect and this is the default instance that we have you know installed in our previous video so here you can expand the databases system databases right security everything and here you can create your new database and also import the databases and just work with the queries so this is it in this video and in my next videos i'll talk more about sql server 2016 and more things in sql server so please stay tuned and uh, please like the video and please subscribe and thanks for watching it have a good day thank you